hey, 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 talk to me. Talk to me. Hey, talk to me. What happened? Come here, what happened? You know, I told you I was feeling dizzy before you left for work. <laughs> yes, and I told you to go to the hospital and then do a test. And I did. But I did go to the hospital, but the, the test results fault my day. <laughs> what? Talk to me. What 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 happened? What, what, what did the results say? Even though I don't believe it, even if it's true, <laughs> I'm not going to have it. I won't. Baby, come on. You you're not going to have what? What are you talking about? The test result says I'm pregnant. <laughs> Barely six weeks after we got married and you're pregnant. <laughs> Whoa, pregnant. What are you talking about? I mean, we, we, we're blessed. I mean, we, we are so lucky. Six weeks after we got married and you're pregnant already? Honey, we are so blessed. I know you have your own opinion, but I don't care about this. I'm I'm not going to have this baby. I'm going to abort it. I can't have this child. Hey, hey, hey. Why? <laughs> Why do you want to abort the child? I, I I don't want to be out of place on my celebrity lifestyle. Look, 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 come on, listen to me. I don't understand the drift. Why the change? What are you talking about? I don't understand you. What do you mean you don't understand me? Baby, do you know what it took me to be where I am today? Do you know? Hey. Hey. Now you listen to me. Listen to me. I don't care what it took you to get to where you are today. But let nothing, nothing happen to my child. Okay? I can and I will. Hey, 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 hey. Just leave me alone. You don't care about my career. You don't care about anything. You don't even care if I die having this child. Just leave me. Hey, hey, hey. Listen, listen. Listen. Honey, honey. I care. Listen. And that's why we got married. And that's why I want to have a child with you. Because I care. Listen. Having an abortion is even more dangerous than having a child itself. No. No, having an abortion is more dangerous. You don't care. Just leave me alone. <laughs> you don't even care if I lose my body, if I lose my shape, my curves. You want me body? to lose my work? <laughs> Your body? <laughs> That's why you want to kill our child? Because of your body? If anything happens to our child, consider this marriage over. Yes. I mean it. I'm a celebrity baby. No one can stop me. I'm international model. No one can stop me. I'm tireless beauty, beautiful baby. Oh, oh, oh. I don't care what people say. Oh, yeah. I don't care if you see me at the shine at the hot like a fire. I don't care. I'm a celebrity baby. I don't care if you see me at the shine at the hot like a fire. I don't care. I'm a celebrity baby. I don't care. They shine out the hot like a fire Anita! What is this? You! What are you doing? What have I ever done to you? What? 
Why are you even screaming? When was the last time you touched me? When? Is that your excuse, Anita? Is that your excuse? We'll bring your man in our house. You're shameless. You, you have no iota of shame inside of you. I'm sorry. Leave me. Leave me. Anita, I'm done with you. Leave Mommy, me. You need to I'm calm done down. with you. I never want to see you again. Baby, Do you understand? Leave I me. I have your baby. I don't, I don't care. Me. I don't Mommy, care. Please. Leave me. I don't care. I'm done with you, Anita. Baby! Baby! Only senseless man. Hit you. You can leave. Leave. Let me tell you. I give you two weeks. Just two weeks. You are going to come back to this house begging me. Anita, I would rather die of hunger than to come back to you. You! Come back to you. Then Useless you woman like you. You will obviously die. You're going to die. Because there's no love in this marriage. We are not even compatible. That's why you ended it. Now. That's why you ended it. Marriage of, of, of barely two months. See what you've done. See what you've done. You can leave my house for all I care. Because you were born in poverty and you are going to die in poverty. Back to sender. Back to sender. Back to sender. Why am I even wasting time talking to you? You are going to die in poverty. Rubbish. See you. See you. Act Useless actress. Man. Career. Which career do you have? Useless woman. Be, be, sleeping around with, with different men. Is that a career? Useless woman, bragging about career. You are one of those who spoiling all the actresses' name. Sleeping around, sir, useless sir, Sorry, be a man, take a heart. Sir, take a heart. Forgive her. Sorry, Look. sir. Charles. Sir? I'll be moving to the village. But this useless woman is carrying my child. She's pregnant with my child. What I want you to do for me is to call me. When she put to bed, just call me. Give me a call. I, sir, definitely I will call you. Just that, I, I just, just forgive her. Forgive who? Don't, 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 don't even say that. Forgive who? Don't you know what she did? I don't do. you know what she did? Very Were you not there? Very bad. Very she's, bad. she's very useless. Forgive her for you. Do you want to kill, to, to kill me? No, yes, sir. So I just have one thing important to say. Just one thing important. What is sir. it again? For the sake of the unborn baby, sir. Let bygone be bygone. Never! Never! What she did was like a slap on my face. Like a, like a slap on my face. You are right. Even was like a blow. You are right, sir. Sorry, sir. Just call me. Call me. I'll call you, sir. He's coming. He's coming. This man is a good man. I know him very well. Very nice man. It's we. It's us. It's us. We are the one. Hey. My in-law. You woke up. I mean, I'm you. okay. Thank you. You didn't tell me you were coming to see me. I'm sorry about that. Charles. Uh, Good morning, sir. Good morning. What is it about uh, my my in-law? What is it? I hope there is no problem. There's no problem. Okay, because if it's about Anita and our marriage, the marriage is over. I I, I don't want any more. That's fine, but can we at least come in, please? Okay, Mark, you, you can come inside. Thank you. Charles, come inside. Okay. Let's go. Is money everything in marriage, Uncle? Is money everything in marriage? Yes, of course. No, no, I do not agree. I do not agree. Earlier today, Mrs. Deborah came here with her daughter, Anita, coming to beg me to, to come back to Anita. But I refused. You are the head of the family. She should come and live with you here in the village. No, no, no. Anita, with everything she's done, no. I, I, I have lost every ounce of respect I had for her. Every
every, every little respect I had for her with what she did. She can go to hell with her money for I care. I do not care. The truth is, Aneta went too far. She shouldn't have brought a man into her matrimonial home. <laughs> Anita. Anita thinks she has money, she can do anything she wants and get away with it. But I have proved her wrong. Hey, not with me. It's not going to happen with me. Not just her. You also proved me wrong. <laughs> she didn't do well at all until she understands that what she did is wrong. <laughs> She can never be ashamed of herself. <laughs> Let's leave that. That's the story for another day. Mm. Because she will not understand. But the time is coming that she will finally understand. Mm. Money. So tell me, how was the journey to the village? <laughs> it was simply a waste of fuel and time. Why? How? As in, you didn't meet him at home? Sophia, he was at home, but I felt humiliated by his blunt refusal to accept my apology and even reconciliation. Hmm, wait. What is wrong with Daniel? Eh? Has he forgotten how you picked him from Gotha? I mean, picked him from Gotha and gave his life a true meaning. What is his own? Hmm, anyway. I, I don't have to tell you now. Of course, he is going to regret it. Sure. Of course. He must surely regret it. Of course. He's already regretting it. Oh. Imagine me, Anita of all people, okay. a whole celebrity like me, stood so low with my mother to go and beg this guy. And he refused. Hi. Ha. Hmm. I've never been that humiliated. Forget to. This is serious. Anita, if I were you, I will get rid of this maybe and move on with my life. My dear, my mom is of the opinion that I should keep it. Keep it? As in, keep it for who? Keep it for an ingrate who cannot forgive you for just common mistake. Eh? <sighs> you can't. You sound as if you don't know my mom. I've tried all I can to convince her, but she still refuses. Don't give up, baby. Keep trying. Of course, you have to convince her so that you get rid of that baby. Yes. How can you have your life with... Uh, you can't. Remove it so that you can move on. You need to remain the way you are. You're a celebrity. Don't forget that. I just wish my mom understands and we can be on the same page. I just wish. Talk to her the more. I will definitely get married again. But first thing first, I want to go into farming. Mm. That's what my heart is leading me to do. That's good, that's good. Uh, you know, uh, farmers make a lot of money these days. Yes, not only in this country, in Europe too, everywhere. Farming is making a lot of money. Farming, the whole world now knows that uh, uh, farming is a very lucrative business. Mm. So everybody wants to go into farming. And like we say, uh, money answered all things. Yes. So I want to have money first. I want to make money before I can get married. So I don't want to repeat what happened with Anita. Yes. I don't want to repeat the past. You're right. You're right. Uh, but <laughs> frankly speaking, I thought you were living in your own house with Anita. No. Ah, uncle. The houses, the cars, the supermarkets, everything. Every, every investment we've had, we've enjoyed, they all belong to Anita. Thanks to her late father who willed everything to her. She didn't have to work for anything. Wow. No wonder. No wonder she has not been submissive to you, her husband. Not at all. Anita is a very stubborn person. She's always been stubborn. If I was not patient enough to endure a lot of things from Anita, the marriage would have ended even a few days after we got married. Would have ended. Any other person would have worked out. Mm. I've been patient. I tried. Hey. Bah. Too bad. Too, too bad. Huh? Oh, they mother can never... 
uh, the things that Alita has done to me, the things that I've had to endure in the marriage. <laughs> I don't think any other man would have would have endured the same thing. Hmm. I've you... tried, I've tried, I've tried my best, but this last one, this what happened, I can't take it now. It's too much now. It's like a slap in my face. I cannot take it. I understand then now. Diba. Anya keji po ngo kedi. Apo ngo kedi o nedi. Ha! Aneta. I'm a celebrity baby. No one can stop me. I'm international model. But that, that's too bad of him. Of course he should have reconsidered his decision. Considering the trauma you are passing through because of him. You know, his anger is that I told him Daniel traveled to the village and wasn't going to return. Little did I know the idiot was going to cancel. And instead of him to go to his office, he had to come back home. Hi. Baby, Daniel was monitoring you. Yes. Perhaps he was checking your phones and you didn't know. But I'm going to be frank with you. I lost nothing from separating from Daniel. Yes, at least now I have time for my dwindling career. And I am of the opinion that if you love me, you should be able to support my potentials. Be I'm here. with you. I'm with you, baby. You can't claim you love me and you hate my career. Mm -hmm. No. Of course, you know what? Some of our African men are myopic. They believe that a woman should live and die in the kitchen. Not in this 21st century. <laughs> Not anymore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Girl, I am a celebrity. And no man can stop me. <laughs> Period. I'm with you, darling. Unstoppable. <laughs> My pretty. Baby, mm -hmm. real men are there for you. Mm -hmm. As long as I'm concerned, men like Daniel can go to. How? Oh, so How fire? <laughs> Who the hell is Daniel? I told Daniel. <laughs> Baby. It's not his fault though. I brought him to my house. Don't mind him. Move on. Relax, okay, you're a safe place. Just know what is it? I killed him. You killed who? Mr. Michael, you wanted to rape me and I stopped him. It's okay, okay. Just relax, okay, you're a safe place. Don't worry. Just tell me I'll help you, okay? Don't worry, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay.
Cheerful. What is the problem? Are you okay? Yes, I'm, I'm okay, darling. Ah. I'm fine. No, you're not. Stop pretending. You've not been yourself for days. What is eating you up? What is the problem? You can talk to me. Something is eating you up. I'm worried about my daughter. Ah. What happened to her? Nothing. I'm I'm just worried about her, that's all. Ah, but she's with her mother and her mother is capable of taking good care of her. If wishes were horses... You would have done what? I would have gone to see her today. Like even right now. But you have Charles' number, you can call him. Charles' number has not been going through. I've been calling, I've been calling. But to no avail. I don't even know what to say. But you just have to calm down. Hmm? You just have to calm down. I don't want you stressing yourself over this thing. Sister, oh. I'm hungry. I'm coming. Is the food not ready? They can go and dish food for themselves. Now. It's ready. Let me go and get it. Don't worry, sister. Let me go and dish it. Ah, it's okay. Let me go. Let me go with them and get it. Chidi, you have to be helping your sister. Oh. You see that she's heavy. She cannot be walking up and down like that. You're not a small boy anymore. Okay, brother. Charles, open the gate, open the door. Be fast. I said open the door. Open the door. Open the door. Juliet, 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 I said, oh, start this guy, open the I'm gates! Start, I'm starting it now. Now start it now. I'm going to start it now. Sorry. Sorry. Hey. Now you see, nobody will open the gate. I must open this gate. Thank you, Chile. Okay. Hello, Ma. Daniel, how are you and your family? I'm fine. Everybody is okay, Ma. Um, is Juliet in your house? Juliet? Did she tell you she was coming to see me? Ma, um, if I may ask you, is, is everything okay? Is everything all right? She stabbed the young man to death and ran away. What? My daughter stabbed a young man to death? Yes, the young man wanted to rape her and she did what she could to protect herself. Uh, trying to rape her where? Where, Ma? Brother, is everything all right? Yes, everything is okay, Chidi. Go inside. Really? Yeah, go inside. I'm, I'm coming. It's all right, right? You're fine. Huh. How could Juliet stab somebody to death? What is going on?
Were you here when he was stabbed to death? Sir? I say, were you here when he was stabbed to death? Sir, this question, you have been asking me this question, even in your office, and I kept repeating, no, no. What is this? Sir, what better get him out? Are you mad? I say, are you mad? How dare you? Are you the one to tell me when to ask you question? I had to ask you question. Just are you stupid? Mr. Man, what? watch your tongue. Or we deal with you ruthlessly. Uh, are you sure you're okay? Ma, I'm very well. I don't think so. Not do your investigation. Just looking for who to. You're still talking. You better keep quiet. I'm just talking to myself. I said I'm part of the investigation. Yes, take a look at these pictures. Before then, I found it. This cupboard. Yes, in Julie's cupboard. Are you serious? You're crying. Hey, oh. are you sure you're not the one that killed him? You're the number one suspect. Hey, hey! Oh my God! Stabbed a young man. How? When? She said the young man tried to rape her. Hi. And in self-defense, she 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 stabbed him. No, no, no. What I'm thinking about is how. So I asked her, like, where did the incident happen? She could not say. Because Anita's house, I know that house. It's difficult for a stranger to, to just uh, have access to the house. When I was asking her, where did the, the, the incident happen? She, she could not say. She just ended the call. Then why didn't you call her back? I did. I called her back so many times. She didn't pick my call. Ah, maybe she was busy or something. Ah, Anita. But you still need to call her back. Please, call her. Juliet is just 10 years old. How could she stab a young man? Somebody that is, is, is even much uh, older than her and stronger than her to death. She was trying to defend herself. You don't have to blame her. She's just a minor. I don't think without the, the help of an adult, she would be able to kill somebody like that using a knife. Don't underrate anyone. Children learn a lot from, from the internet, the good or bad. Everything is learned on social media. I will blame Anita. I've warned her not to give my daughter a phone. Don't give the child a phone. Yet and say she'll give the child even her own phone to use. Then what are you talking about? She let all that from the phone. Hi. If anything happens to my daughter, if anything happens to my daughter, I will hold Anita responsible. I swear I would not forgive her. You just have to call her. What kind of a thing is this? How will you just let it be to child? To, 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 I, don't, I, don't, I don't even understand. What kind of mother is she? What kind of mother is she? God. Why me? Why did you let this before me? Why didn't you deliver me? God. Why are you crying? If Michael had not pounced on you to rape you, would you have stabbed him to death? 
if you had gone to school today, you wouldn't have been in this mess. Now you will spend the rest of your life in jail. God, please, forgive me. And forgive Michael as well. Exactly. We interviewed the man, according to him, his son left the house six months ago. Why? He actually tried to stop him from going out with Anita. But instead, the young man left the house to live with Anita. <sighs> and so we also told that Becky, the deceased fiancé, traveled to the village for her mother's burial. Oh, damn it. She lost her mother? So we told sir. We were told that Becky was afraid of open confrontation throughout this period that her nephew was going out with Anita. So she kept quiet. <sighs> so I think I have an idea. You have an idea? Yes, sir. Come up with it. Sir, please, I would like to interrogate Anita and her daughter separately, sir. Officer Ann. Sir. You should know that these persons have been interrogated over and over again. You should know that. Sir, I know. I know, sir. You know, I am a woman. I know how to convince them. They will tell me exactly what happened, sir. I think she's right. You think so? You have my permission. Okay. Do that immediately. Thank you, sir. Have you taken the knife to the laboratory test? We did that before going to our home before interview. Good, good. Please, I want the report in my office. Thank you, sir. Right. Fall out. All right, sir. What is going on in this country? How could police arrest a minor and lock her up in a police cell? They say she allegedly stabbed a young man to death. What? How could she commit such a heinous crime? The young man tried to rape her. Yes, he tried to rape her. And in self-defense, she, she had to stab him. Unfortunately, he, he died. Oh, well, the last time I checked, Self-defense is not a crime anywhere in the whole world. So, she will regain her freedom soon. I hope so. I hope so, because she will. if by the end of today she's not freed, I will have to go to, to, to the city to see her. I cannot let my daughter just be there by herself like that. Okay. I know that mother of us. Okay, okay. I don't even understand. Rape is on the rise in this country, yet so the government is doing nothing about it. Government is doing nothing to curtail it. Every now and then you hear about a young lady being raped. Nothing. Too bad. Too bad. Moral decadence all over the globe. Especially in this country. Too bad. I am here to help you. So I want you to tell me exactly what happened. Okay? Now tell me, what conspired between your mother and Michael? Nothing. So why did your mother stab Michael to death? My mom didn't stab Michael to death. I did. But the story has it that your mother and Michael had a little scuffle and your mother got angry and stabbed Michael to death. My mom wasn't even in town when this happened. Michael wanted to rape me. When I saw that he was too strong for me, I quickly grabbed the knife and stabbed him. Michael wanted to rape you. How can Michael want to rape you because you used to do it with him before? I had nothing to do with Michael. 
But we found some things we are not supposed to see in your closet. And the pictures you took with him on your phone. Some things? Yes. See, if you don't want to spend the rest of your life in prison, you better start talking to me now. I don't know what you're talking about. And about the pictures. Me and Mikey usually take pictures when he comes around. You see, I promise to help you, but you're making things difficult for yourself. You better start talking now. Juliet. Ma, I stabbed Michael Amobi. See, I'm a woman like you. And I know exactly what you're going through right now. You know, the trauma and all that. Especially when you're being betrayed by someone very close to you. I, I don't want to go into that now. What could have led into the ugly incident? I don't know. I returned from Abuja and met Michael in a pool of blood. Why didn't you rush into the hospital? You know, maybe he would have survived. Of course, I wanted to rush him to the hospital. Okay. But he died. I have never witnessed something like that in my life. I'm yet to overcome the shock. I understand. Okay, I do. But I would like to know, how long has Michael been staying with you? Six months. Six months? Has he by any chance, you know, displayed this character of insanity or something? No. Are you aware that he has been sleeping with your daughter? The what? She said that to you? We found condoms and sexy pictures in her closet. The condoms are mine. I hid them there to prevent my boyfriend from using them on me. You could have kept them somewhere else now. Huh? Or better still threw them away. The condom was not responsible for Michael's devilish act. So do not put the blame on me. On the pictures. Michael was part of the family. So it was no big deal, my daughter taking pictures with him. She still maintained her earlier statement just as the mother did. And their story are interwoven that you can't even dispute them. Seriously. They had time to agree on their story. Seriously, sir. This young girl is responsible for the grandson mother. So. No, I doubt. Who is this monster? Who is beyond this Ilaro's crime? Who? A person responsible for this must be brought to book. We must find out. This person must be brought to book. Okay, sir. I want you to go to your office and think. All right, sir. Go and put your head together and walk. We must bring this person to a book. Okay, sir. Move it. Officer, good afternoon. Good afternoon, madam. Thank you. How may I help you? I've come to bail my daughters. The woman cannot bail a person in this country. Why? And can you cite any law backing this up? What's my business with the law? I 
have told you what is being practiced. Pure and simple. Okay, um, can I see your DPO, please? Seeing my DPO will not make any difference. If you want to bail your daughter, I think you need to get a man to stand in for you. Okay. Can I still see him? Please. Wait for me. Follow me. Mom, where is my lawyer? He's out of town. I'm tired of staying here. This place stinks. It's very terrible. Please get me another lawyer. I can't stay here any longer. I know. Um, can I talk with you? Just get me another attorney. Please. Okay. Okay. I understand. Yes, I, I will just have to come tomorrow because I cannot allow my daughter to be in a police cell for for more than a day. I, I, I can't. Yes, I, I, will, I, will, I will be in town tomorrow. Okay, thank you for the information. Thank you very much. All right, bye. You okay? Hey, darling. Yes, sir. Come here and sit down. Take it easy. I was just talking to Juliet's uh, grandmother, and she told me that they refused to grant her bail. So she's still there at the police station. Huh. So I. I have to go to town. I have to go and see see her, see if I can secure her bill. So, how many days are you going to spend if you go? If I get there tomorrow and I can make sure that she's released from the police cell, I will come back the next day. Hi. I don't want to stay long in the city. And if he fails for you to secure her release the same day, are you going to come back the following day? No, I, I will just have to be around until I can make sure she's, she's out of that uh, police custody. Hi. And if you continue like that... So I'll just have to stay. So that means you're going to be paying hotel bills over there in the city. It's honey, not easy. Honey, I'm not just Juliet's father. I'm her best friend. She'll be expecting to see me. I don't want to disappoint her by not going there when she needs me the most. I don't even know what to say. I'm just confused. All this thing for a child. I don't even understand. <sighs> what are you leaving for us before you go? You know I'm pregnant. Don't worry now. I will, I will leave something that will be able to sustain you for the next few days. But uh, should in case you need anything, any emergency, just uh, call uh, Mazi Okoro. Okay. I, I, I will speak with him. He will, he will give you whatever you need. Okay? It's okay. So but don't worry, okay? You never can tell when the baby will arrive. I know. I know. I'm sorry I'm not going to be here for you when you need me the most. Uh, you know, Juliet, I, I just have to be there for her. I cannot it's trust okay. Anita. Huh? It's okay. I understand. Come here. Everything will be fine. It's okay. was not smart enough to stab him to death. He would have raped her. 
Yes. I didn't know my girl was going to be me like this. God. After all I went through for him. <laughs> Some men are terrible. They are terrible. I, I still can't believe my girl could have the heart to treat my daughter. My own daughter this way. <laughs> but it is unfair for the police to detain you and your daughter. Of course, Juliet did what she could do to protect herself. Isn't it obvious? It's because I don't have any man or woman in government that can speak for us. Don't worry. She is a minor. And for all I know, self-defense is not a crime anywhere in this world. Yes. Besides, everything happened in your absence. Thank God. Thank God, my son. <laughs> so, God, oh. how is the mother and child? Oh, they're fine. They're doing very well. Hey. They're doing very well. Uh -huh. God is good. God so, is good. how is the city then? Uh, how are you going to do about it? Are you still going? I will have to go back to the city now. I will have to go back. I will go tomorrow. I already called my daughter's grandmother and I told her I will be there tomorrow. I have to go and fight for my daughter to be free. And <sighs> your wife and the newborn baby at the hospital. What about it? I, I will. Uh, my wife knows that I'm, I'm going. We've talked about that already. So, who will be taking care of them as we are leaving? Uncle, Uncle, you will help me now. You will be checking after her. Uncle, ah. I cannot divide myself. I have to focus thank on God. her. Thank God, thank God, my uh, son. Okay. Thank Uncle, let me rush to the house yeah? and go and uh, take it for her to eat. Okay. I want to take it to the hospital. My wife can eat and be strong. Uh, I'll be coming to see you. You know, I already came to your house when you people were out. Oh. I'll be coming. I'll be coming to oh, check oh, on you people. You. Yeah. You. I'll come. Thank you. Hey! Thank you. Thank, thank God, you. my son. All right. Thank, thank God, you. my son. Yeah. Hey! Gina Kedalo, Chukun Naime Kako. Ah! Go to Gina Ked. Ah! Thank you so much. You're welcome. Let's just hope that by tomorrow, Juliet will be granted bail. Thank you. I think we'll be on fair to this morning. Madam, everything has got due process. The police is just doing their work. Like I said, let's be hopeful that by tomorrow, they will be done with their investigation. What are they investigating? Eh? Hey? A minor that was at the verge of being raped did what she could to protect herself. Calm down, madam. I will make sure that her rights are protected. Okay? It's okay. Thank you so much. I'm counting on you. I'll do my best. Okay? All right. Thank you. Tell the big deal. I will be back to you, okay? Bye. <laughs>
no one can stop me. I'm international model. No one can stop me. I'm timeless, beauty, beautiful baby. Oh, oh, oh. Anita, thank goodness you are back. My daughter is still in the police custody. Anita, I know. But nothing will happen to her. She is a minor. And she did what she could do to save herself. You know, Sophie, I'm still confused. I, I can't understand why Michael had to rape her. Why? Some men are like that. Yes. They only get satisfaction in cheating on their girlfriends. Yes. And that's exactly why I didn't accept when he asked for my hand in marriage. Baby, my life is incomplete without you. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Please don't say no. Michael, I love you, but I can't marry you. Why? I know you will definitely cheat on me. I swear with my life, I will not. Michael, if you could cheat on Becky, who suffered for you? I don't think there's any woman on earth that you cannot cheat on. Baby, I found everything I need in a woman in you. I am not going to cheat on you nor break your heart. Trust me. Michael, I've tried this once and it didn't work for me. I don't want to do this again. But we've not tried it together. Yes, we've not tried it with me. Let's try it together. I promise you, we'll make it. Yes. I'm a celebrity and I need my freedom. I don't want to be tied down by any man. I will support you all the way. Of course I know you. You cannot be tied down. Once in a while you will always want something new. Michael indeed went for something new. Sophie, I wish I had listened to my instincts. I would have sent him out a long time ago. <laughs> now look at this. Look at it. Monica, please stop. You don't have to blame yourself. You trusted him. But what did he do? He betrayed you. He went too far. So you don't need to overworry yourself about him. I'm so worried. I'm worried about my daughter. I don't know what to do. Anita, please hold us. <coughs> well done, ma. Well done. Sorry. Uh, the fuel is here. I've already bought the fuel. The, the fuel is already here. Drop the key and leave. Ma, thought you said uh, I will take you somewhere. And you are telling me to drop the key. I said leave. That's okay. Ma, but do you know if she will still go to... Leave first. Ha -ha. I'm saying because I love my... Can you go first? Just leave now. Okay, sorry. I don't understand this man. Just love, my love. Love indeed. Anita. Sophie, I don't know what to do. Like, yes. I... You have to put yourself together. That's all I have to tell you now. I'm devastated knowing my daughter is in the custody. I'm finished. <laughs> I know. But trust me, nothing will happen to her. She did what she could do to protect herself. Of course, they, they will understand. 
She's a minor. Nothing will happen to her. How are you? Fine, thank you, sir. Mm. I understand that you are preparing for your junior secondary school examination. Yes, sir. Wow. So, by next year, you should be in SS1. Yes, sir. Hmm. Good. Good. And before you know it, you are out of secondary school. Yes, sir. So, tell me. Would you want to further your education or you want to learn a trade first? Education first. Mm, cool. I want to progress from a reputable university before going to any business. <sighs> that is good. That is good. So, what course would you love to read in the university? Accountancy. Accountancy. That is good. Really? Yes. It's a perfect one. My mom doesn't like that course. She says she prefers theatre art, but I hate that course with passion. Why? I'm not good at amusing people or fabricating something out of nothing. My friend, you are funny. I'm serious. I don't like the course. My dad, he prefers accountancy to theatre art. Hmm. So you mean you don't want to amuse people? You don't want to be shot in television, superstar? Eh? You don't want to out fame all those things? You don't like it? No. Wow. So, you want to go into the university to read a canvas? Yes, of course. That is a good one. <laughs> that is a nice one. It's all right. We'll come back to that later. I'm the Divisional Crime Officer, DCO. And as a result of that, I'm in position to tell the DPO to release you. So I want you to look at me and tell me the truth. Tell me everything I need to know as your friend. What role did your mother play in the death of Mike Amobi? Talk to me. No rule, sir. My mom wasn't even in town when the incident occurred. Juliet, you know you're not my friend. You should be confiding on me. I know you love your mother so much, and you do anything to protect her interests. But you know, your life, your education is at stake here. So I want you to talk to me. Who stabbed Mike and Moby? Talk to me! It's me, sir. I'm sorry. I never knew he was going to die. Otherwise, I would have allowed him to rape me. Please, sir. I was actually trying to defend myself. I never meant any harm. <sighs> My friend, death is inevitable. Though it is very painful to lose one, who one is counting on to take care of him at the old age? But there's nothing we can do about it. All we need to do is to pray and ask God for grace to bear the irreparable loss. Jidolfo, I warned my son. Mm. I warned Michael against that woman. Oh. But he wouldn't listen. Look at it now. Jidolfo, look at me. My son is in the mug as mm. we speak. 
and that woman is in her house, hell and hurty, mm. enjoying herself. Mm. Like this one. Yeah, like so. <laughs> okay. I like this oh. one too. Welcome, Dad. Good afternoon, sir. Mm. Welcome. Dad. Who are you and what are you doing in my house? Dad, she's my girlfriend, my baby. Shut up, my friend. I'm not asking you. I'm asking her. Who are you? Enough of this embarrassment, Dad. Enough. I said she's my girlfriend. She's my baby. You're still asking her. What do you want to hear from her? She is not your baby or whatever. Michael, you have a fiancé. Oh, yes. You have a fiancé and I do not want to see you with any other girl. Let alone this, this, this Delilah. Look at, look at her eyes. Just, just look at her ears. How many earrings? Look, just, just look at what you brought to my house. Dad, I don't understand what you're saying. I don't understand what you're talking about. You don't Please, I wouldn't like you to insult her again. Or you will not like me. I won't take it lightly with you. Please, don't insult her again. Bro. Are you threatening me because of... Don't insult her again. Michael. Michael, come back here. That was the last time I saw my son here. The very last time. Oh. He moved in with that woman, packed his things, and went to live with her. Against my advice. Oh. Children of nowadays. And like Samson of old. Oh. You know. My son died on the laps of a woman. Oh. I don't know. Shameful. Me. I'm open. My son died on the laps of a woman. How can I be at the shame? How can I be at the shame? You don't fall? Oh. Children of nowadays. He should have listened to your advice. I think today, the story would have been a different one. That goes without saying. Nothing would have happened to my son if he listened to me. Nothing. Hmm. Oh, my friend, it's a pity he died that way. But the only truth is that we are not escaping that at all. But that woman and her daughter who are like that Michael wanted to rape her. <laughs> We surely die and face God's presence for judgment. Pure, that is just the truth. No, they should have died before my son. Why would my son mm. die before them? Yes, we will all face judgment. But, but why would my son die so early? Uh, it's okay, my friend. God in heaven must surely avenge the death of your son. That is sure. None of us will escape that. Thank you very much, Judafo. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Your words sink into me. That's good. Thank you. Um, my son's burial comes up on the 13th of this month. Is that so? Yes. Um, oh. So. It's all right. One week plus from now. It's all, it's all, it's all right. It's all right. I think uh, it's all right. I, I shall be there. Um. <coughs> My friend, uh, please. Money deal is a lot of money. To assist you on the burial day. That's right. nothing I have. Please, this is very little but manager. It's there for you have done enough already. You're my good friend. You've been here with me, consoling me. Please, manage it. Thank you very much, Jidor. Thank you, my good friend. To add to this little thing, this little money, please, I will 
want Eberi to handle your case. You know, she's a very good lawyer. Instead of you looking for another attorney, let Eberi handle your case. She's a very good lawyer. Hi, Chidolfo. You have done enough already. Now. What would you want? Hey, what are friends for? What else can I do for you? Right. Hmm? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. In fact, I was thinking about it. Who I will engage the money and everything. It's okay. Thank it's okay. you. She will handle the case. Thank you. It's okay. Thank you. It's okay. God bless. You. It's okay. God bless. It's okay, my dear. <sighs> it's okay, my dear. I was I was thinking about it's okay. who am I going to you engage in this case? You are such a nice person. How much am you, I going to you, pay? You are such a nice person. I can't do anything for you if I am in that category. How? God will bless you. Thank you very much. Hmm? May this kind of tragedy not be for you and your family. Yes, sir. So, baby, it's all right. I have to leave now, eh? I'll come back in the evening. Tell okay. me. What would you like me to buy for you? Nothing. Excuse me. Nothing? Sophie, I'm fine. I don't have appetite. As a matter of fact, I've not recovered from the trauma. Excuse me. You have not recovered from the trauma of a rapist? Anita, are you okay? Anyway, if you said so. Ah, oh, welcome, man. How are you? I'm fine, man. Ah, Sophia, good to see you. Yeah, mom. thank you, man. Welcome, mom. Thank you, Anita. How are you? You know what? Don't bother getting me anything. I'm fine. Okay? If you said so. Take care of her. I would have walked you, but my mom is here. It's okay, it's okay. Take yeah. care of her. Bye bye. bye. All right. Bye. Take care, okay? Yeah. Mm. Mom. How are you? I'm good. Um, so, um, Daniel, has he called you? No. But he's supposed to be here today. If he's coming here, it's because of his daughter and not me. Okay, that's by the way. Um, the police has granted um, Mr. Moby his request to bury his son on the 13th of this month. 13th? Yes. That was supposed to be his birthday. Really? Um, Anita. I hope this incident has taught you a big lesson. I was not responsible for his death. I met him in a pool of blood and I was ready to do anything to save his life. But incidentally, he died. Exactly what I'm saying. If you had not allowed Michael to live with you, he wouldn't have attempted to rape your daughter. Okay, should in case um, the case swings in favor of Juliet, I think she should just go and start living with her dad. After all, she's daddy's pet and not mine. Wait a minute. Juliet should move to the village with her father. Of course. That's where they belong. Hey. 50,000 naira. He really surprised me. Jidolfo surprised me. Hey. I'm telling you. Daddy. Hmm? Just like that. Just he like gave that. you a whopping sum of 50,000 naira. He said just to help me prepare for the burial. Hey. I'm telling you. And he didn't stop at that. He actually asked me not to bother about hiring a lawyer for the case. Why? Daddy, does he want us to lose the case to that witch, Anita? Mm -mm 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 -mm. You don't understand. 
He actually wants us to win the case. Yes, he's asking his daughter, the lawyer, his daughter is the brilliant lawyer. Mm -hmm. He's asking his daughter to handle the case on my behalf, free of charge. You don't say. I'm telling you. Are you serious? Yes. Oh, <laughs> oh this is good news. No, it is oh, voice. may God bless him real good. I prayed so too. When he was there, I prayed, I prayed. So, ah. for it shall be well with you. Amen. Oh my goodness. Thank you. So, um... Uh, just 50,000, I'm just like that. <laughs> hey! Can you, you imagine? Currency, yeah. In this hard time? Mm -hmm. Jesus! Ah, daddy, wow. that man is indeed your friend. Ah, he is, he is. is. We have come a long way. Ah. Uh, by the way, how, how was the burial where, where you went to? Mm. Daddy, everything went fine, though it has not been easy on Becky. Uh, it's expected. Um, it cannot be easy for someone who lost her mother and her fiance on the same day. Mm, it's, it's a tragic, tragic coincidence. <laughs> Daddy, honestly, it shall not be well with Anita and her daughter. Never. They will rot in jail. Amen. Daddy. The water. The water I requested for ever since. It's just coming now. Huh. Yeah, the, um, sister, I'm hungry. You can imagine. She didn't even acknowledge the fact that you complain and she's telling me she's hungry. So I should come and serve you food, right? Daddy, honestly, you're spoiling this girl. No, 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 no. Uh, no, no it's not about spoiling. I think. Um, uh, she's taking your permission to take food from the, from the kitchen. What kind of permission is that? You're always supporting her. So if I serve you food now, you eat. Now get out and go eat your food. Yes. Ah. Look at her. Fatty bumbo. But I don't like the way you're supporting her. You're really, you really spoiling her and it's not good for her. Nene, Nene is not spoiling. You know, it's, she's a young, she's a teenager. Huh? When you were her age, do you know how you were behaving? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Daddy, please. Mm. Forget about this girl. Hey! 50,000 naira. Daddy, I'm going to help you keep this money. <laughs> Let me help you keep it. When you need it, take it from me. I need it right Daddy, now. I can save it for you. Better. I need this money right now. Daddy, your fr another friend might come here now and start. Give me this money my money. Daddy, yeah. oh, no. Oh, madam, you are ready to go. Yes, I am. Can I have the key? You know, that's my primary assignment. Don't worry, you know what? We'll just stay back in the house and take care of the house. I want to drive myself. Ma, you are bridge, you know. Remember the contract says I'm your personal driver. I'm your PA. I'm your get man, your security, including your, your cook. Please open the gate. I should open the gate. Madam, you are bridge, you know. Very di very di do 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 ya. I didn't do ya, very di very di di do do ya. Hey, I'm a celebrity, baby. No one can stop me. I'm international model. No one can stop me. I'm telling you. Yes, what are you doing in my compound? How, how did you get in here? What do you want? Sir, please, I'm, I'm sorry for what happened. I didn't ask my daughter to kill him. Although what he did is the worst thing that any man can do to a woman. Yet, she shouldn't have killed him. Sir, please, I'm sorry. So you actually came here to insult me, huh? No. You came here to add insult to the injury. Listen to me. Sir, please, I'm sorry. Michael was the only man in my life. I, I don't have a hand in his death. Please. To air his human and to forgive his divine. Yes. Please. Sir, please, just hear me out. I didn't kill him. You actually had the audacity to come to my house to 
to insult me? Oh, you're daring me. No, sir. No, no. Oh, sir. you're daring me. No, sir, I'm not. You want to please. know what I can do? Sir, please, you're now my oh, responsibility. Oh, you brought the battle to my house. Sir, you're now my responsibility. I'm going to take care of you and Meaning? your family, what? please. Meaning what? What? Please help me beg please. him. Please. Listen, listen, listen to me. Listen to me. If you do not leave my house right now, I will do to you exactly what you did to my son. And even worse. Hey. No, sir, I loved my girl with all my heart. Please don't, sir, please just help me. Sir, I need you to understand. Help me beg your father. Okay, help me beg him. Eh? No, come back. Why are you leaving? Come back. Fool. You are not my responsibility. What, what is she? It's okay, it's okay. She don't want what to is that idiot? Please, please, she's out. Please, please, please. Look at who wants to take care of me. Did, did, did you hear that? I heard it. I felt insulted. I am so sorry. Please, remember your health. She don't want it to be good. Please, please, please. If I see this girl in this compound again for whatever reason, I will severe her head from her body. She won't even try it. Daddy, don't worry. I promise you, next time I'm going to take care of her. Trust me on that. I'm no fear. It's Michael that caused all this nonsense. That every rat, every idiot will now walk into my house. Daddy, please, please. To insult me. Please, your health. Please, please, please. I'm begging you. Eh? Please. Let's go inside. Barista, this whole matter is tearing me apart. My blood pressure has risen. My doctor warned me seriously, but I wouldn't just stay a day without thinking about my granddaughter. The DPO knows the truth, but he has refused to cooperate. A small girl at the verge of being raped did what she could to escape. Yet you're keeping her in custody. I know that Mr. Mobi Odumodu is responsible for this. Madam, I have told you to calm down. I mean, it's me. I am the one handling it. So calm down. I spoke with the DPO earlier today and he assured me that once they are done with the investigation, she will be granted bail. Hi. Mr. Mobi Odumodu has vowed to take this matter to court. And if he succeeds, honestly, I don't know what will become of my granddaughter. There's no way this can be attributed to your daughter, madam. I mean, you told me she was not at home when this happened, right? Yes. But Juliet is her only daughter. And the fact that her daughter will be standing trial is enough to affect her. Besides, this incident happened in her house. So she'll be there to answer one or two questions. Madam, like I said, calm down. I'll take care of it, okay? I will make sure that I do my best. She will be fine, trust me. It's okay. I believe you. I'm seriously counting on you. You won't be disappointed. Um, you will send me your account details. Oh, okay. I will. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Becky, I'm so sorry you lost your mom. I couldn't come for your barrier. Forgive me. But please take heart. <sighs> Lizzie. My mom died as a result of retracted illness. Please. You've cried enough. I mean, it's better you buried your mother than the other way around. I also lost my fiance. What? Michael? Dead? How did 
already happened. <sighs> His life was sniffed out of him by one heartless woman and her daughter who claimed that Michael tried to rape her. I'm sorry. Please take her. Please don't cry. You've cried enough. You need to be strong to overcome this. So, hasn't been buried? He hasn't. It's okay. It's a big challenge, but you have to be strong to overcome it. Ah, <sighs> Lucy. I want Michael. I want Michael, but he wouldn't listen to me. I had a nightmare about you and Anita. In that dream, you, you two were playing, and all of a sudden, Anita turned into a big python and beat you to death. <laughs> Wait. Anita turned into a python and beat me to death? Yes, baby. Listen to me, Michael. Please. It's high time you, you, you came back home. Please, leave here, please. Baby, please. Leave Anita. Anita is not a threat to our relationship, please. Leave her alone. In no distant time, I will come and marry you. When I marry you, I will stop coming to this place to come and live with Anita. Stop bothering yourself. I don't know why you're bothering yourself. Michael, please. If you love me, if you truly love me, please stop cheating on me. Come home, please. I am not cheating on you. I am not. I have never cheated on you. Trust me. Stop bothering yourself. Why are you bothering yourself? Maybe come home, please. I have not cheated on you, please. I want to go home. You have to go home now, please. Just go home and take care of yourself. Stop bothering yourself. Just my, go. My God, please. please. I'm baby, going now. Baby, 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 hold on. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, please. Michael! Hey. Babe! Uh, Anita is not a threat to our relationship. Eh? The earlier you get this into your skull, the better for us. She's not. Okay, exactly what role is she playing in this relationship? A marriage consultant or a marriage counselor? Which of it? None of the above. Listen. Anita, she's a philanthropist and she promised to give me two million to support our wedding. Yes, baby. We need this money now, please. Listen to me, please. That woman or a, that lady, whichever one she is, is evil. Please don't get anything from her. Don't collect a dime from her. She's evil, please. Baby, relax your mind. You're stressing yourself. Look at your beautiful self. You're just stressing it. I am not a daft. I know what I am doing. I just want the money. Let me collect this money now. Just calm down. You are just killing yourself over nothing. I don't feel good about this. I don't at all. Michael, please. I'm warning you now. Even when I'm telling you something, you don't feel good about it. That means I don't know what I'm saying. Eh? Calm down. Just calm down. Let's get this money so that our wedding will make sense. Smile for me now, please. Smile. Oh, God. Oh. I even went to him and apologized to him. Hoping that he was going to turn a new leaf. I, I mean, it's easy. A broken relationship is better than a broken marriage. Okay? I loved Michael. I still love him. 
But it's like good people don't last long. I know, I understand. I know how much you love him. But he never loved you. That's why he cheated on you. When I promise curse in nature. Remember, you hardly find a man who is faithful to his spouse. It's a man's world, remember? Too bad. But you also have to take heart. Remember, no amount of tears will bring them back. You only end up hurting yourself. I won't cry again. Because I know it's the will of God. If you didn't allow it, it wouldn't have happened. Now you get the point. Nothing takes him unawares. Please, be strong. Honey, how are you? Has she been granted bill? Darling, I have no idea. I just checked into the motel to keep my bags. Ha! Ah, you're not even sure yet. Have you eaten? Yeah, just uh, a lot of noise here. I'm just walking down the road. I'm looking for somewhere to get bread. The motel food is a bit expensive, but I can't afford it. So I'll call you when I get back to the motel, okay? All right, take care. I'm fine though. Wow. Honestly, you are not looking bad the way oh, I thought. Come on, good to see you too. Where are you coming from? Mm, I went to bank to deposit the money for your 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 ex wife. Your madam. Sorry, my madam. Yes, it's okay. It's okay. Um, I'm, I'm glad she's doing okay. Mm, yes. Charles, you look okay. Hey, I'm sorry. You. Have you seen Juliet, your daughter, for police cell? No, I, I haven't seen her. I just I just got to town like now. Okay. No eh? If say you die around, all these things no good they happen. Huh? Charles, Charles, can you take me to the police station to see my daughter? Are we going now? Yes. Let's now. Go. Yes. Let's go. Okay, thank you, Charles. You don't have to open the door. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, let's go. This man is a nice man. This man is a nice man. Hey, go. Charles, sir, can I trust you? So of course you can trust me. Is there any problem? Who actually stabbed Michael to death? It's Juliet too. Juliet, your daughter. She did. Charles, are you sure? Okay, I am very sure of what I'm telling you. Even Madame was not around that day, this thing happened. It was Juliet. She even said it to Tamato. You know, eh, this uh, recent children, this 21 century children, they can do among two. I'm telling you the truth. Okay, go now. Imagine, you yourself pass. You're heading somewhere very important. But do you know where Michael's parents live? Okay. You know, I did a little research. Oh. Number 158, uh, Ojo Tim Ojo. 
I think of Jotemme. Or Jotemme. 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 I know there. Yeah. I know there. There is it. Charles, stop, stop me here. Stop me here. Are we no longer going. No, no, I just want I want to check something quickly. I'll go to the I'll go to the police station later on. Okay, on your own. Should I come yes. and pick? No, 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 I'll go on my own. Thank you, Charles. Okay, I okay. appreciate this, okay? The door is open, sir. Yeah. So may God bless you. No. God will keep you. You too, take care of yourself. Oh, thank you, sir. Bye. Bye, bye sir. <laughs> Let me just find my way and go. Oh, he's a nice man. <laughs> you know, when you told me you were back to Nigeria, I actually thought you were joking. No, 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 I wasn't. I came in two days ago, actually. Hmm. Wait. You mean you've been in this country for the past two days? I'm joking with you. <laughs> <laughs> I flew in a few minutes ago, actually. Really? Yeah. Wow. So, welcome back, Igwe Malaysia. Thank you. No. Don't do that. What happened? I'm mourning. Uh, I'm mourning the death of my late boyfriend. I'm sorry. My bad. I'm sorry. You don't need to be sorry. He actually caused his own death. What happened? He tried to rape my daughter and in self-defense she stabbed him to death. Rape? That guy must be a fool. Then we should prepare a big place for him in hell. What do you mean? I can't believe he could do such a thing to my own daughter. Oh. It breaks my heart. Babe, no, no, no need for this, okay? <laughs> I, I'm thankful she escaped. Eh? Because that guy would have damaged her future. Just like that. Yes, she escaped, but she's still in detention. Um, since when did the uh, safe defense turn to a crime in this country? She'll, she'll be released very soon, I think so. I just hope so. Come on, no need for this. Share up. You know, you've not even welcomed me properly. She'll be fine, I promise. Okay? There is this saying that say that the heart can never rest until it has found an object to cherish. And what makes you think you found an object to cherish? If I can recall, you told me on the phone that you were single and searching, ain't it? Really? Yeah, you did. No, I can't recall saying that to you. What are you trying to do? You know what I want to do? And please, please don't tell me now. It's either I get married to you or no marriage. Please, um, go home and keep the ring. When the time is right, I'm going to let you know. Babe, I want us to get married this month. So that we can travel back to Malaysia together. Why the delay? My late boyfriend's body is still in the morgue. So if you cannot wait till after his burial, I suggest you find someone else and get married to her. It hasn't gotten to that. I'll wait. I'm a celebrity, baby. No one can stop me. I'm international model. No one can stop me. I'm timeless, beauty, beautiful, baby. Oh, oh, oh. I don't care what people say. Oh, yeah. So, how long are you going to stay in the village? Maybe a day or two. Why did you ask? I see. So you want to go and seek approval from your mom? <laughs> approval? For what exactly? <laughs> okay, let me tell you. On who and who not to marry, I guess. Oh, I see. 
for your information, I'm not a daddy's boy or a mommy's boy. I do whatever I want to do. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I like him. You know, I love men that say something and they mean it. They don't have to take them from mm -hmm. anyone before they do what they want to do. Are you sure? Yes, <laughs> I like you. Hey. <laughs> That's my road I want to pass. Excuse you? Babe, who is this? Honey, <laughs> please don't pay attention to him. You know, he's my security and he is usually like this. Please don't mind him, okay? I don't arrest people, you uh, um, Mr. Man, next time don't do that, okay? Babe, I have to run now. I'll talk later. <laughs> Bye. And you, what was the meaning of that? Okay, I'm trying to act as a security man. Trying to watch over your vigilance. What stupid security? The money I asked you to deposit, you didn't even do it. Okay, I What kept you so long? I have a good news. Actually, I have a good news. I want to break now. They are breaking good news. Ma, from that uh, bank, I was coming due to the uh, a lot of uh, uh, network problem. There's a uh, there was a hold up and there. Uh, yeah. So on my way, self, I saw Daniel. I was I saw Daniel coming. So when I saw the Daniel, Daniel now told me that he want to follow me to station so that he will see Juliet. I was very happy. It was just I carried Daniel. Oh. Wait, you mean you went to the police station and saw Juliet? How is she? No, we, we couldn't make it. We did not. We did, on our way. <sighs> when we moved the first and second and third and the fourth pole, then Daniel was the one that said I should drop. I was like, hey, what is happening? He said he's not going again. So we did not go again. Shut up! What nonsense are you spewing from your mouth? Will you drop my key and get out? Drop my key! But I did, did not get the message. Okay, I should drop the key. I said it was it was even... It was, when I picked the Daniel, we moved the first pole, the second and the third. And then fought. Then Nana, Shh, you are just a fool at fault. Get out. Ma was the fool for me. Get out. Ma, I'm hungry. Do you have food? I have been working since morning. Charles, don't let me say this again. Get out of this place. Thank you. God, how did I even hire such nonsense? Be careful how you live your life Be careful the things you do Cause you don't know tomorrow Thank you The weather is cool, you know, the weather is very hot Okay, greet your guy It's hot today Come! Sir, miss, miss, sir, I'm moving. Good afternoon. So, sorry, the, the sun is very hot. I have something I want to talk to you about. But if it's okay, we can just move here because the sun is very hot and just stop. Who are you? How could you just stop me on the way and be telling me to, to go to where? Sir, what, what, what is it? Sir, my name is Daniel. Daniel Namdi. Uh -huh. uh, I'm the father of Juliet, Juliet Namdi. Sir, I have. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Juliet? Yes, Juliet Namdi. Juliet Namdi. The same Juliet Namdi that I know. Yes, sir, but I think you, you are the father. We, we got wrong information, oh, oh, sir. Oh, oh. So, you are Juliet's father? Yes, sir. I so, mean. so what are you talking about? Sir, I'm all ears, yes? I believe that we were all deceived. Sir, I don't think that the story that we know that Juliet, my little daughter, at the age of 10, stabbed Michael to death. Sir. What are you blabbering about? What are you talking about? Sir, listen to You're me. You're talking about my son's death. Sir, listen to me. I don't want you to be angry with me. Just please listen to I me. I am people. angry already. I, I am know, angry sorry, with you. Sir, I am angry with everybody that's concerned sorry, about this. We're talking about my son's death here. Yeah. No, sir. That's why I'm here to beg you. I don't want you to be angry, sir. Just give me one minute. Let me tell you what I think happened. Sir, understand that Becky, Becky is your late son's girlfriend. And 
your next son was also dating my wife. He was sleeping with my wife. And I believe that Becky found out and she went to my house to accost your son. And that's what happened that led to his death. She probably stabbed him. And then she, she, she convinced my little daughter to, to say she's the one. I don't know what they have over my daughter's head that she's agreeing to say that she's the one who stabbed your son. At the age of 10. What did you say your name was again? My name is Daniel, sir. Daniel Namdi. Daniel. Daniel, do I look like a man you can easily confuse and, and manipulate? Sir, I'm not trying to no, Do I look you, like sir. one? No, I'm not trying to confuse, confuse you. I just want you to think about what I'm saying to you, sir. You want me to think about this nonsense you're talking about? Sir, sir. No vex, sir. Do you know what it feels like? Sir. To lose a no, son? That's, that's why. That's, I'm sorry, sir. No vex, sir. Just think about Sir, I'm not going to disturb you, sir. Please. Get out. I will not disturb you. Get sir. out! Yes, I will not disturb you. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. What is this man talking about? What is he talking about? No. No. I cannot be confused. It's not possible. No. It's not possible. I can't. She claimed that the disease wanted to rape her, but there was no evidence to buttress her. Claim. But she ran into this place with her hands and dress stained with blood. <laughs> Counsel, you and I know that anyone can do that. Yes. What she said does not mean that what she's saying is the truth. She has told you all the truth she knows. Michael was engrossed and lost and he tried to have his way with her but the little girl who was peeling pineapple at the time had to stop him it is called self-defense i want you to release her barry said i cannot grant you that the homicide decision are not true with the investigation so she remained in her custody don't you get it I am not in any way stopping the homicide division from carrying out their investigation. All I want is the release of the little girl. I, I can provide her anytime you want her. Counsel, I can't grant you that. No. Mr. DCU, I hope you know that holding somebody for more than 48 hours is against the law. You have held this girl now for, say, four days. I want you to release her. Barrister, I beg your pardon. The little girl allegedly murdered an innocent young man to death. In cold blood. And you are in a hurry to take her away. When investigation is not fired, I won't do that. That little girl remain in her custody. Take that from me. And if you don't mind, I'm busy. Excuse me. It doesn't go down well with me. But the question is, why would Becky kill Michael, my son, and not Anita, who collected him from her? Huh? Daddy. Yes? It could be Becky went to attack Anita. Incidentally, Anita wasn't at home. And one thing led to another. Becky decided to stab Michael to death. So, how did Juliet come into the picture? That is power of manipulation. Becky manipulated the little girl. How? Manipulated how? I don't know, but that is exactly what happened. No, no. The Becky I know cannot hurt a fly. 
let alone kill the man that she loves. No, no, no. no. Daddy, please do not conclude yet. Dad, I'm sorry. It's all my fault. I would have allowed Michael to rape me. No, no, darling. Don't say that, okay? Don't you ever say that again. I'm sorry this had to happen to you. I'm sorry I wasn't there to protect you. But I'm here now. I'm here for you. I'm going to make sure you come out of here. Okay? Don't you ever talk about being raped again. All right? Things. How have you been managing here? It hasn't been easy. But I don't have any choice. Oh my darling. I'm sorry. Okay. Sweetheart. I want you to tell me a few things. Few things like what? Is he your mother's boyfriend? Yes, Dad. Has he ever, like, uh, touched you sexually? Has he ever tried to molest you? No, Dad. But he always likes to hug me. And he tells me that he likes me. Even more than he loves my mom. He loves me more than her. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh God. Michael, Michael, he's, he's old enough to be your father. Like, how? I, I always knew your mother couldn't protect you. I always knew your mother couldn't raise you properly. I should have insisted that you come to live with me in the village. I, I should have done that. I'm sorry, Dad. I'm sorry, too. I'm sorry, too. Oh, God. So that I, I want you to tell me the truth. Who killed Michael Amobi. I did. But I didn't know he was going to die. If not, I would have allowed him to rape me. Sweetheart, don't say that. I told you not to talk about being raped again, okay? Don't say that. But this is unbelievable. Like it's it's not possible for you to to kill Michael. That's unbelievable, Dial, darling. Look, I'm, I'm not satisfied. Tell me the truth. Did your mother kill Michael, or was it was it Michael's fiancée that killed him? Dad, it was me. I didn't know he was going to die. Hear this for me. I know it's difficult to break the bond between a mother and her child, but your mother never wanted you. Even from the first moment she knew you were you were conceived, she never wanted you. So the sacrifice you're making here, being in this place because of your mother, it's not worth it. All she ever wanted to do. Hey, baby, baby. Hey, what happened? What happened? <laughs> hey, 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 talk to me. Talk to me. Hey, talk to me. What happened? Hey, what happened? You know, 
I told you I was feeling dizzy before you left for work. <laughs> yes, and I told you to go to the hospital and then do a test. And I did, but I did go to the hospital, but the, the test results fault my day. <laughs> what? Talk to me, what, what, what happened? What, what, what did the results say? Even though I don't believe it, even if it's true, <laughs> I'm not going to have it. I won't. Baby, come on. You, you're not going to have what? What are you talking about? The test result says I'm pregnant. You're pregnant? You're pregnant. It's barely six weeks after we got married and you're pregnant. Whoa. Pregnant. What are you talking about? I mean, we, we, we're blessed. I mean, we, we are so lucky. Six months after we got married and you're pregnant already? Honey, we are so blessed. I know you have your own opinion. But I don't care about this. I'm, I'm not going to have this baby. I'm going to abort it. I can't have this child. Hey, hey, hey. Why? Why do you want to abort the child? I, I, I don't want to be out of place on my celebrity lifestyle. Look, 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 come on, listen to me. I don't understand the drift. Why the change? What are you talking about? I don't understand you. What do you mean you don't understand me? Baby, do you know what it took me to be where I am today? Do you know? Hey. Hey. Now you listen to me. Listen to me. I don't care what it took you to get to where you are today. But let nothing, nothing happen to my child. Okay? I can and I will. Hey, 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 hey. Just leave me alone. You don't care about my career. You don't care about anything. You don't even care if I die having this child. Just yeah. leave me! Hey, hey, don't sing that. Let's sing. <laughs> honey, honey, I care. Listen, and that's why we got married. And that's why I want to have a child with you. Because I care. Listen, having an abortion is even more dangerous than having a child itself. No. No, having an abortion is more dangerous. You don't care. Just leave me alone. <laughs> you don't even care if I lose my body, if I lose my shape, my curves. You want me honey? to lose my work? <laughs> Your body. <laughs> That's why you want to kill our child? Because of your body? If anything happens to our child, consider this marriage over. Yes. I mean it. I'm a celebrity, baby. No one can stop me. I'm an international model. Your mother has not given up. She still hits you with passion. She doesn't want you. And this, what you were doing here, you are only hurting yourself. You are destroying your every dream, even your dream of being an accountant. It's being destroyed. Darling, please. Do this. Dad, has Becky returned from her mother's burial? I don't want to talk about Becky. Leave Becky. Do you love me? Dad, you are the only person I love on this earth. Dad, don't do this to me. me if you have to be in this jail. I can't live. I, I can't live with you being here. Please, you are my heart. You are my love, please. Say the truth. Please.
now, now listen to me, Becky. Yes, we are all humans. We all make mistakes. In fact, nobody is above mistakes. Not even the Pope. So, all I am saying now is, I need you to tell me the truth. Look at me in the face. Shame the devil and tell me the truth. And you know what? I'm going to forgive you here and now. Only if you tell me the truth. Go ahead. He wants me to tell you how I disappeared from the village where I went to bury my mom, came down to the city and stabbed his son. Really? Are you okay? I beg your pardon, Becky. What? Are you talking to me like that? That is okay. With all due respect, don't you ever insult my father again, not even in my presence. Wow. Nena, you too. <laughs> I less expected this from you, but I'm not surprised. I am so disappointed at you. Please go, go. Leave my house. Is that what you want with the dad? It's okay, Daddy. It's okay. It's 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 all Michael's fault. It's my my Michael is just putting me through this kind of nonsense. Okay. Every idiot will come into my house to talk to me anyhow. My sake. Look at this one. Please. I'm so sorry. It's okay, Daddy. It's okay. Okay. I love you, Daddy. Love you too. Love you too. Mm. Love you. Love you. Love you. <laughs> Sorry. Hold on, hold on. Hey! Hey! Welcome, up, sir? Yo. Hey! How are you? I'm, I'm fine, sir. Sure. I'm fine, sir. Okay, it's uh, Anita inside. Uh, I think she's inside. So it's your house now. <laughs> right, thank you. Welcome. I hope you'll be okay. I'm okay, sir. <laughs> hey, imagine, welcome, sir. Ah, huh? even love to get money. This man is a nice one. <laughs> He's a nice man. Hi. Anita. Are you just coming? No. So, why are your bags? At my motel, I left, left my bags there. Why? Is he not big enough? Anita, I can take care of myself. That's fine. Okay. Have you seen your daughter? Yes, sir. I did. Is your mother in? No. Is anything the matter? She asked me to come here for a meeting. She didn't tell you. That's fine. Let's go in. Going inside, finally. They're going inside. <laughs> what is my own? Let me just go and sit down, please. Sit down, sit down. Sit down. Welcome home. Thank you. Sit. Just give me a minute, I'll be right back. Okay.
Thank you. We celebrate our daughter's victory in advance. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. Hmm. So, how is your family? Your newborn? Everybody's fine. I see. Are you surprised that little or nothing has changed since you left? No. Not exactly. Make yourself comfortable. I will. You know you're still a bona fide member of this family, right? Or should I say the head? You're still the head of the family. Please, I want you to come with me. There's something I want to show you. Please. You haven't said the truth to me. What you were doing here, this suffering, the pain, this is not worth it. Your mother doesn't care. Honey, you are making the biggest mistake of your life. And what you were doing, confessing. Crime you did not commit. It's totally wrong. Dad, I am here for a crime I committed. I know mom didn't do well in the past, but please leave her out of this. about Becky yesterday. Why? Yes. Has she come back from her mother's burial? Yes. But she's in police custody. Why? Michael's father told the police that she stabbed his son. But that's a lie. Becky was in the village when the incident occurred. Honey, what are you saying? If Becky was in the village and your mother was in Abuja, then who stopped Michael? Talk to me. Who killed him? Honey, talk to me. You don't know what is going Officer! Doing. Honey, stop. Talk to me. Look at me. Juliet, Juliet, Juliet. Officer! Honey, look at me. Tell me who killed Michael. Is it your mother? Is that your mother? Officer! Who stabbed Michael? I'm a bit to death. Officer. I don't know. I have said it over and over again. I don't know. I did not. 
was in my village for my mom's burial the day it happened. I wasn't even in the place of incident when this happened. I don't know, please. Your mother died? Yes, sir. So, who do you think that she will be responsible for the death of your friends? Officer, I don't know. I can't say. I, I, I wasn't living with him in Anita's place, so I don't know. Please, please. Do you believe that Juliet stabbed Michael to death without any help from an adult? Officer, the Juliet I know cannot hurt a fly. In other words, it was her mother who killed Michael. I don't know. What's your problem? Look, if you don't tell me the truth right now, I will make sure you got in jail. Please. I'm saying the truth. I don't know anything about this. I was in the village for my mom's burial. I don't know. Please. Please. You want to leave here? Yes, sir. You want to leave here? Yes, sir. Don't start talking. I have said everything. I said speak! Sam, I'm saying the truth. Don't deal with me. Don't joke with me. Because I will do everything to make sure you go out in jail. Start speaking right now. Hello. Where are you right now? I'm in my house. Can you open? Yes. I want you to rush to the office immediately. Why? Juliet is willing to talk. Well, they may have talk me. <laughs> and she says she will not talk to anyone except you. She has to wait because right now I'm very hungry. Oh, come on, Anne. This is an opportunity I'll be waiting for. I never say so. Try to understand me. Huh? We must get something from this girl at this moment. And you are the one to do that. Hello. Hello. This, this, this lady is there. They are not good for this job, man. Just imagine that. You are telling me. That would be trouble. Please, I mind my business here. Auntie Anne, I mean, sorry. Detective Anne. You can call me Auntie, okay? Feel free. Huh? I'm here to help you, so you can call me Auntie, okay? Auntie. Yes? I'm disappointed in my parents. Why? Because they promised to get me out of here. But here I am, languishing in rejection and detection. Don't worry, okay? I am here to help you, okay? Auntie, promise me that you won't record or say anything to your colleagues. I promise you, I will not disclose this to anybody. Huh? Okay. Auntie. Yes? If I were your daughter or your younger sister, would you have locked me up in cell for stabbing a man who wanted to rape me? Yes, I would have locked you up. Then after proper investigation, if you are found not guilty, you will be free. But if you are found guilty, you will face the law. Auntie, if you were me, would you have allowed the man to rape you when you had an opportunity to defend yourself? If I were you, I would have defended myself without sending a man to an early grave. You are right. I wouldn't have stabbed him. Juliet, what did you send for me? Auntie, will God ever forgive me? Is that what you sent for me? Yes. That's what you sent for me? Uh, what about you? You are very blessed last night. <laughs> the girl, we know it. Don't hide it. Just you, you want me to discuss my relationship matter in the office. Now, if the DPO comes out so that you fire me, 
stop it. How did he go? Was she able to reveal the killer of Michael Amobi? No, she did not. How did he go? You need to listen to this. I am going to make it for myself. Thank you. Just like that? Do you have any problem with that? Come on, Anne, come now. <laughs> Anne! Hey, 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 just... Hello! Wow! <laughs> oh my goodness! All this for me? Yes. I, oh. hope you, I hope you love them. I love them. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. And I have come in accordance with our agreement a few months ago. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Please, do not say no. Except you want me to kill myself for you right here. I'm not sorry. It doesn't go to that. I don't want you to die. Then accept my hand in marriage. But you know I'm in a relationship, right? Becky, we both have already known each other for a very long time before Michael came into the picture. Perhaps God doesn't want us to stay together. If not, we won't have lost contact. Becky, on the contrary, we were made for each other. If not, we wouldn't have met again. Okay, then. I only accept you. Proposal on one condition. Please tell me. I am equal to the task. Pray that one day Michael walks up to me and say he's not getting married to me again. He has already done that by cheating on you. Well then pray that he dies. Chineke Nabu Wegwensile. God forbid. Now that Michael is finally out of the way, please do not say no to me again. Are you happy that Michael was stabbed to death? I am not happy that Michael was stabbed to death. But the fact to remain that Michael is dead and there is nothing anyone can do about it. Maxwell, how did you know I was here? I went to your house to sympathize with you over the death of your mom and your fiance, your neighbor. You told me that you were arrested and locked up by the police over the death of uh, my, uh, Michael, who was stabbed by a man. Amobi and his daughter Nen now confused. They left the woman whom the daughter alleged stabbed Michael to death and came after me. Seriously? 
God will not forgive them. My God will judge them for all they've done to me. Sorry, sorry, okay. It's okay, it's okay. Sorry. We have been through a lot. I'm sorry, my dear. No, no. Sorry. I want to quickly see Barrister Ebera in her office. I'll be back in a jiffy. Yeah? Daddy. Yes. Even though we are not paying for our services, I... yet I still do not see any reason why we should take this matter to court. Except if by the end of the day, Michael will be bring back to life. Are, are you trying to mock me or what? Uh, who is talking about Michael coming back to life? Michael will never come back to life, that we know. But the death of whoever killed my son, the death of that Anita, will bring comfort to my soul. Yes, it will bring closure. That's what it's called, closure. When murderers are tried, it is not because the victim will come back to life, no. It is so that the relations of the deceased will have some comfort, closure. Daddy. Do you have any evidence to prove that Michael was stabbed by uh, Anita and not Juliet? I don't have any evidence for now. I don't. But you know what? I know for sure that that is what happened. And you know it too. You should know it. How on earth could that little girl uh, kill Michael? Could I, could I call you there, Michael? No, no, think about it. A man like my son, my own son. That little girl will kill him and he'll be watching her. No, now. See, let me tell you. The blood of my son that was spilled on the ground will avenge his death. Yes. Daddy, the murderer still remains Juliet Nandi and not Anita. She killed him because he wanted to rape her. Honestly, Daddy, if I were in that little girl's shoe, I would do the same. Honestly. You are beginning to provoke me, Nenna. No, 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 you are beginning to provoke me. How on earth could you believe that kind of nonsense that, 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 that I'm peddling about? How could you believe such propaganda? Eh? Even you. Listen, if that Anita has bribed you or bewitched you, it is not me. I am, I am many steps ahead of them. Okay, go and tell her they cannot get me. They can never get me. And, and let, let, let me warn you, let this be the last time you're going to say something like this around me in this house. Do you hear me? Yes, Daddy. I'm so sorry. I won't do that again. You better be. I'm leaving. Alright, see you when you get back. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I really appreciate it. <coughs> you know what? Go in and freshen up. Why I go get you something to eat? Good? Okay. Yes. Go Have your key, right? Okay. I will be with you soon, right? Okay? Okay. I'm coming. I'm glad to see you. Because I heard what happened. Oh, wow. Thank God you're back. It's not easy. I know. Let's go inside. I want to freshen up now. Okay. Just came back. Thank God for Maxwell. Yeah, I saw him leaving the compound. Let's go.
When are you going back? I don't know, darling. I can't leave until I get you out of this terrible place. Then, am I leaving today? I can't say. But I'm trying, I'm doing my best. But your hotel bees are getting high. I know, sweetheart, but I have no choice. Yes, you do. You can leave the hotel and maybe go to your friend's house, or better still, Moon's house. No. Not your mother's house, I can't. I can never go back to your mother's house. My friend is not around. <laughs> But it's okay, my hotel is more comfortable, my I'll manage. I know. But I'm trying to cut your expenses. Besides, you said that you're running out of cash. Sweetheart. If you wanna help me. If you wanna stop all the expenses and everything your dad has to deal with because you are here in custody. Just tell me the truth and I'll get you out of here and then we can go and see the new baby. We'll all be happy together. Dad, I've told you everything I know. No, you haven't. I, I, I know you and I, I feel it in my heart that you're still hiding something from me. You that you're my daughter and I, I know you so well. Dad, why is no one believing me? I wish I could raise up the dead so that all the doubting Thomases would hear is from Michael's own mouth. Dad, please, you have to believe me. Please. I believe you. I believe you, so stop crying, okay? It's fine. My friend, I've really been through a lot. This has been the most trying time of my life. I lost my mother and my fiance at the same time. And as if that was not enough, I got arrested and questioned by Mr. Moby and his daughter for the death of Michael. My dear, seriously, you went through hell. Not just hell. I'm pained and it's because of that useless four letter words called love that, that I got into this mess. Becky, you don't have to blame yourself for anything. You are aware how my younger sister got married to a man she did not love just to please our parents. At the end, what happened? The marriage crashed after six months. Yes. I'd rather remain single than marry a man I do not love. Not just a man I love. But the man must love me. In fact, he must overlove me. I know, right? Yeah. And that's why Michael cheated on me because he didn't love me that much. The past is past, so let it die. Ah, Maxwell! <coughs> What's up? Oh, I'm good. How are you? Hi. Fine. Yeah, my love. You have called me to bring some TV action. Don't worry, we will manage. Oh, okay, okay. Oh. Um, yeah, okay. Um, I will be going out. Okay. Yeah. So soon? Or is it because I'm here? Uh, no, 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 no. I have an important meeting to catch up with. Uh, you know. See you girls later. Okay. Bye. Uh, please make sure you take good care of yourself. Okay. Bye. And eat your food. Okay. Uh, see you guys later. 
Ya. to love you more. You are a fool! I say to you again, you are a fool! And I will talk to you any way I want to talk to you. What's wrong with you? I just don't respect you. Don't respect me! Respect you! Huh? You are a stupid man! And if anything happens to my daughter, you and your family Wait, will be wiped out. Wait, I, I swear to you, are you I will wipe you out. Wait, are you threatening me? I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Mr. Man, you haven't seen threats yet. Mr. Man, let me tell you. Let me tell you. I will tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let you. Let me tell 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 you. Why are you in the shop? Now we say we can go keep person. He's not uh -huh. a stupid man. He asked me of people and this and that. I told him that they are not in the office. Next thing was he started shouting at me as if, if, if he's the one that gave me the uniform. Can you imagine? I swear he won't try it with me. He will not try it with me at all. Huh? But see, let's call expert expert. This girl has stayed too long in this place. And I have advised you to take this girl to court. But you refuse. Take which girl to court? Is he the DPO? Is he the DPO? If it is. Let me tell you. Anything worth doing is worth doing well. See, see, let me tell you. I know. I, just, just because of this thing, you will not do our job. No, 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 no. I know that you are not the DPO. No, no, no. But this matter, you are in charge of this matter. Huh? You can take this girl to the court. Yeah, we must do our job, my friend. What kind of job are you doing? Mr. Man, do this thing now. Yes. Why are you looking at me? Let me go and fight. I don't blame you. Life. Truth can set you free from death. Oh, just oh. say the truth. Be careful the things you do. Be careful how you live your life. Be careful the things you do, cause you don't know tomorrow. Be careful the things you do. Be careful how you live your life. Be careful the things you do, cause you don't know tomorrow. Life is too big, life is too pregnant for we to see what tomorrow will bring. Yeah. No matter how.